Hi viewers, this is Sri Ramulu. So today's topic is what? Energy transport. So what is energy transport? Energy transport. See definition inside is there. Consider a string of length L and linear density mu when a transfer wave passes through it. It energy is transported. Okay. When what? When a transfer wave is uh, passes pass. Pass means when transfer wave moves through the string, then it brings uh, what it brings uh, energy. So that is why it is uh, bring means it transport the energy. So that is why energy transportation has come. Consider the point P in the segment of a string as shown in figure. So here somewhere I have taken as point P, which is here string, which is string here. This is string. Okay, and tension in the string is in this direction. The tensional force acting at a point P can be resolved into two components. So here at this point, I am resolving this is like this. It is one and downside, horizontal and downside. And here it is actual tension is T this side. So making angle this side. Which side my angle making? Simply we write cos theta and uh, this side no angle. So simply write it is sin theta, T sin theta. So how does it comes already explained in the previous video. Please watch that video. Okay. So like this, uh, they are a horizontal component T cos theta and vertical component T sin theta. Which side is making angle that is simply cos and whatever value this value present multiply it. So that is why here multiplied and here multiplied. It is a cos then automatically no angle sin theta has come. Among these two components, the vertical component is responsible to bring the string to equilibrium position. So actually it vibrates up and down. So this force are responsible to bring this uh, string to the equilibrium position means along the uh, horizontal direction. So therefore the external periodic force is equal to up equal and opposite to the transverse component of tension in the string. Okay. So equilibrium force is what? So, but plucking force is upside. So that is a phi along f direction. But it is this can make to bring the uh, string equilibrium. So that is why this is upward force and it is a downward force. So these two are the opposite in direction. So that is that is why minus is taken. The negative sign indicates that two forces are opposite in direction. Okay. When theta is small, so already explain uh, why why if a uh, theta is small then sin theta is equals to tan theta. Why do we have to take? Already explained you. When theta is small, sin theta is also small, and tan theta is tan theta is also small. But those two well theta, those two sin theta and cos theta can get the same value, so that is why these two are equal. When theta is small means suppose theta substitute zero, then sin theta becomes sin zero is equals to zero. Tan also tan zero is equals to zero. See. These two are equal and theta is small. So that is why sin theta and tan theta are also equal. But tan theta can explain to us slope of slope it explain. Slope means change in y component by change in x component. Substituting in the equation 1. So where is the equation 1? See this equation. In the place of sin theta simply substitute dy dou y by dou x yes equation 1 and it is substituted let that is the equation 2 after substitution if u of x comma t is a velocity which velocity it is a transfer velocity let then u of x comma t is equals to dou y by dou t right it is equation 3 now the rate of work done or power transmitted due to the application of transfer force is p is equals to force into velocity why do we have to take here power here energy is transmitting so energy transmitting uh, per certain time so that is why work by time is also power and this work by time can be written as power is equals to force into velocity how see here general formula of power is what work by time and general general formula of work done is what force into displacement by time and we can write it as a power is equals to force into displacement by time can we write we write easily force in force into distance by or displacement by time can be written as 
force into displacement by time displacement by time is what it is a velocity so that is by force into velocity this formula has come like this p is equals to upward force is fi and velocity is here given okay and their value is so their value is fi answer this one and uh, u value is this one substitute these two values here let it is equation 4 the value of dou y by dou x and dou y by dou t k are also calculated using already i explained this uh, how we get uh, derivation also okay so last one differentiating equation 5 with respect to x so differentiate it so a as it is only and uh, sin becomes cos sin become cos and i with respect to x means x component is minus k so my minus and k is taken outside next uh, same equation to the equation 5 once again we have to differentiate with respect to time now so now time it is dou y by dou t right okay no need to show always x comma t here and uh, a as it is now sin become cos but uh, with respect to t we are doing differentiation so then t multiplication what you have omega it come outside okay so like this. and substitute these two values in the equation for here and here already minus is there minus minus gets cancelled and become plus okay minus minus plus now a into a a square and here omega and uh, k omega k isn't it see here clearly a, a a into a a square here minus minus plus t as it is here what you have omega into k omega k cos into cos cos square but we know that what see here k is equals to omega by v, v. So in the place of k, we can replace k by omega by v. But omega into omega, omega square. So t omega square a square by v v cos square as t. But average value of a uh, cos square term we know all that is half. Half. Okay. So half can be written as here two. This two comes this side. Next. So this is a formula and now what i am doing so this v i am replacing and omega so omega value everybody know omega is equals to 2 pi f and v value is as a v is equals to under root t by mu okay t by mu and from this t is equals to v square into mu see in the place of t v square mu substituted isn't it so t value is v square mu in the place of uh, t t is replaced with v square mu omega is 2 pi f now v one v gets cancelled here one more v will be there so here not okay not cancelled here ah, only this is 2 become 4 pi square f square 4 pi square f square Okay, now we we cancel one one, one more v here like this and a mu as it is. Okay, two ones are two two za. So this two has come pi square. So this is a friend. Uh, last uh, this is a uh, our power formula. So energy transportation formula p is equals to pi square f square a square v u. Okay, friends, thank you.